Hi guys, it's Tommy here again from Traxler Music and welcome to part three of uh, Need Someone um, Prodigy Remix. As you know, through the course of the year, I will be uh, challenging myself to remix um, every track on Prodigy's most recent album uh, at the time, that is, which is No Tourists. And if you remember from episode one and two, uh, we basically worked on the introduction to the remix and the first verse, and now we are ready for the chorus. So, um, the chorus now introduces the vocals, and we have a slightly different um, beat, which I will explain without further ado. So, if we just zoom into this chorus section here, uh, you can see we've got a lot of elements that are the same. Um, but then we have this beat that comes in, which is I've sampled from Kylie Minogue's um, Confide, of all places. Who would have thought the Prodigy and Kylie Minogue go together? But they do. So this is the, the main chorus section. This is the beat. Okay, and the original sample was this Kylie sample here, which is... And what I've done is um, edited out the bits where you can tell that it's Kylie Minogue's track. Um, so she'll be hunting me down for copyright as we speak. And the only effect on there is the compressor. And then uh, over the top of that, we have, um, so I took that sample and arranged it. So if we uh, zoom in a little bit more onto one bar, you can see we have. Uh, it's, it sort of bounces around the track. So it's a little bit hard to play, but it's basically. we get that kind of chugging along kind of beat and we have the synth line so if I bring this back in uh, which is that and that as you know that sits quite nicely over the top we have this sound as well which is sampled directly from uh, the need some one original track that sits just quite low in the mix that is this one so that just adds a bit of um you know it's almost like a crashy sound uh, as opposed to anything so it's almost like a symbol going on um we've got the kick still so if we bring the kick back in that 909 oh that really basic 909 kick that is and you'll notice that this pattern now is kick one as opposed to kick two. Uh, the reason for that is, oh, is because we've got the Kylie Minogue beat playing in the background, I thought it was a bit overkill to have that higher end punchy um, kick drum as well. So it doesn't sound too bad. Again, I've got the siren synth. Let's just unmute that. Quite, it's quite um, in the background of the mix now. I've still got the uh, vocal sample there. Again, that goes quite low in the mix. And the crash at the beginning, let's just unmute the crash. Uh, have we missed anything? No, I think that's it. So this, you know, the chorus section is quite simple again. The only difference here now is we have uh, Lolita Holloway's uh, sample coming in, which I've sampled from the original, not from the Prodigy track. And um, it's basically, again, this is the way I work. It's basically just a, a, a huge, uh, quite a big section of the sample of her uh, vocals. So you can see you've got quite a, 
uh, a lot more than the original Prodigy track there. And I like to sample it as one large chunk because uh, one of my styles of using FL Studio 20 is I can just grab uh, the sample, put it directly onto the playlist, and then you can sort of, if I move, uh, zoom out, you know, I can just, it's almost like copy paste. That, that's all, that's all my, uh, my um, hobby is, just copy and pasting in Fruity Loops. Uh, and if, so if we do that, you can see how easy it is to add stuff and play about. So basically I've just got, just got that need someone uh, vocal. And with the vocals, it has just got a bit of EQ. Just, just to cut out the low end, keep the, keep the low end of the vocals, which you don't hear, you know, most vocals are in the mid range, just to clean any low end up away from the bass. We haven't really got a bass, but it's part of the synthesizer and that punchy 909 kick, just to keep that low end clean. Uh, I haven't said it enough really, have I, during this uh, uh, remix. The only other thing I've got, and you can hear it tailing off in the background, is again some delay. You can hear that going, and that again, I just mess around with the delay settings, bring it up until I'm happy. It's probably me being lazy, it's just one of the preset delays. And what else have we got here? We have that's part of the Kylie, that's part of the Kylie. We just have these crashes and this, this sound effect coming in again. Let me just unmute it. Uh, this uh, go to the channel rack. And it's that one. So you can, again, you can see with the vocals. And then the next part of the chorus is we lose this raising synth. What we also lose at the beginning is the first half a bar or the first two beats of the Kylie Minogue sample. So it's almost like a DJ has been mixing it and he's just faded out the beat um, just to leave that bit of a pause and then the beat comes back in. So the kind of effect it has is... So it sort of emphasizes that kick on beat one. Boom. Boom. So there's so the wait, I've sort of practiced taking bits of the beat out, whether it's the synth for a for a beat or um, the beat and just left the kick drum in so you can see where the bits drop out it sort of just gives it a bit of variation the next part is and goes back from the chorus into the verse again and I've got some parts that have I've left muted so if I bring every channel back in so you can see we've got We've got that highly benign uh, beat, and then we go back into. The, the, we go back into the beat that was in the verse again, and then we uh, come back into the hi hats, and I've added some percussion, which we'll talk about. So again, the hi-hat's coming back in, um, just picks up the pace a little bit and adds that syncopation in. And I've also added um, some more percussion with this sound. It's almost like a shaker sound. So that gives it a bit of swing. So you can see here I've uh, added the toms back in from that sample. 
um, throughout the, the beats. It's all about, once you've got that backbone of a beat, it's all about mixing it up, giving it that humanistic feel as much as possible. Um, so if I zoom out of here and recap, we have that section with the Kylie Minogue beat, which is sort of our little mini chorus. And then it comes back in with that slamming beat, that 909 kick. And then it breaks down again into vocals. This time the vocals are a little bit different. If you have a listen first. <laughs> So in that section, um, I've treated the vocals almost like as if they're sampled on a drum machine. Um, so the vocals sort of take over from the kick and the snare in a way, and it gives it that real nice uh, kind of swingy feel, which is... It's almost a little bit like scratching on a record, and it just gives it that bit of a break. And as you can see, again, this is why I like to use Fruity Loops in this style and just drag samples directly onto the playlist. Because to do this on a pattern, um, you know, you don't get to see the samples on a pattern. Um, pattern basically being that, that's in the piano roll. If you see it on your channel rack, you know, you don't, mm, you can program in a drum machine where you've got your 16 steps, fair enough. But when you're using vocals and samples, I prefer to do it this way and you can uh, visualize it a lot better. So we've got the... Uh, Lolita Holloway sample and that whoo sound, almost like it's you know been playing on a played on a drum kit. And then we've got a variation with the synth and that synth feel that sliding um, note. Helps it just to drop, and then it basically. Basically the chorus and the second verse coming back in. So you can see the remix now is coming together quite nicely. And I think I'll leave it there for that episode. That's basically covered the um, chorus and the second verse. And that now sets us up at sort of the uh, 2 minutes 13 seconds to add a nice drop now. Give us a break because we've been um, raving away hard to the track so far. And a drop just helps just to give us a break and just to reset back after the drop. Um, sorry, uh, after the break, just to drop that beat back in again for maximum effect. But once again, thank you for your patience. Sometimes I go a little bit fast and don't explain everything in minute detail. But I'm assuming that you've used Fruit Loop, um, FL Studio 20 for a while now and you're quite versed in using it. Again, don't forget to subscribe and like and keep that notification button um, set. So when the ne next episode gets uploaded, you'll hear all about it first. Thank you.